We're back. Thanks for staying with us. Joined now by Dr. David Koenig. He's the CEO of UCS Advisors. David, always a pleasure. Thanks for having me, Don. Appreciate it. You know, the cannabis industry keeps developing and keeps growing. I read an article about Colorado approving cannabis vending machines. What's next? Oh, I know. that uh, They've been trying to get vending machines for a while now. Um, what you're seeing a lot going on in cannabis right now is you're seeing a lot of technology. You're seeing a lot of people trying to solve uh, the ancillary uh, problems that are, are with this ever-growing sector. It's more than just touching the plant. It's more than just growing it and selling it. It's a technology on how to get it out to more people, to make it easier, quicker, and also developing better standing operating procedures. And the vending machine is just one example of it. Well, there's so many different aspects of the business now than there was even just two or three years ago. It truly, it, you hit the nail on the head there. there uh, we're at its infancy stage still. And even though cannabis has been around for over 20 years now in the market, it keep, it, the market keeps going up every single year with its growth in the industry, as well as you're seeing just people in other sectors now saying, wait, I can take what I'm doing in this industry and now applying it to the cannabis industry. And we're now starting to see that here. What's the things that you're seeing that are the most exciting to you personally? Personally speaking, uh, it's the ancillary products and services, such as uh, the technology platforms for tracking seed to sale. Um, it's also people finding like kind of like the vending machines, uh, these ancillary services. But really, what really gets me excited, though, still is the East Coast. The East Coast is such an untapped market, and we're at the very, very tip of the iceberg. So there's a great opportunity, especially for investors, for people to really get in at a lower valuation and take advantage of the that, of that hockey stick curve. Well, you mentioned a couple of months ago in the program that companies that were successful in the West Coast are now trying their, uh, their efforts on the East Coast. So that's exactly right. Yeah, and you hit the nail on the head, Don. I mean, as some that had cannabis companies in Nevada, Oregon and Colorado, we're seeing a lot of those businesses now trying to expand their brand and their footprint on the East Coast now. Are East Coast states actively pursuing it as the West Coast did a few years ago? Uh, they are, and the East Coast is really trying to learn from the mistakes that the West Coast made with their rules and regulations, which is why we're having some setbacks, but we're just at the tip, once again, of the iceberg of really moving things forward in this industry out here on the East Coast. Now, of course, out west, we've seen a lot of consol consolidation and uh, acquisitions, mergers. Are we expecting that on the East Coast as well? We are. And ironically, actually, I'm at a family wealth office event in New York City to talk about mergers and acquisitions in cannabis out here on the East Coast, as well as the benefits of actually uh, investing in real estate to benefit the cannabis sector. So Mergers and acquisitions, we're going to keep seeing that trend. And I think we're going to see a lot more of them occur in Q3 and Q4 of this year and also going into Q1 of 2024. Well, we witnessed the cannabis boom a few years ago. We witnessed the cannabis dip recently. Are you expecting another boom in 23? Uh, personally speaking, I am expecting another boom, especially because the amount of deal flow uh, to get closed was not as much in Q4 of 2022. Um, and right now, the start of Q, Q1 of 2023, the, the influx of capital is not quite there yet. People are still waiting a little bit more on the sidelines. Um, some rules and regulations have been delayed by three to six months. So I'm really excited for the third and fourth quarter of this year, particularly in the cannabis sector, because I think we're going to see a big boom. Well, David, the next time we see a vending machine selling cannabis in their favorite restaurant or bar, we'll know where we heard about it first. I appreciate it. Thank you again for having me today.